Hey, how's it going, party people? Today, we are gonna do a little Tabata, which is gonna have um, a push-up in every single round, a um, squat or a lunge variation in every round, a plank variation in each round, and a cardio version in each round. So, let's get some fun. We're gonna start right off. It's um, First round's gonna count as your warm-up. We're gonna start with some staggered push-ups to start. So, we're gonna do these for 20 seconds on your knees or on your toes. Staggering the hands in that stance as you're lowering yourself down to the ground, then you're going to switch. Remember, you can do these on your knees to modify. All right, we're going for 20 seconds. In three. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Alright, we're gonna jump on up and get ready for that. Just a squat, just a warm-up squat. We're gonna drop down as low as we can. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Keeping those knees behind your toes, dropping down as low as you can go, keeping your chest up, shoulders back, three points of contact in your foot, heel, big toe, little toe, pushing up through the heel on that standing. Okay, we're going to go for just a regular forearm plank. On your forearms, hips stay nice and low. Gaze in front, 20 seconds. Okay, drop those knees down. Your cardio for your warm up is going to be a jumping jack. You can step this out if you want to keep it low impact. 20 seconds, here we go. Heels dropping down each time on that jumping jack. Okay, good. Round two, we're going back for that push-up. Staggered. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Get ready for your squat. Drop it down as low as you can. Three, Knees stay behind two, your toes, sitting those one. hips back. Exercise one. All right, forearm plank coming up. Three, two. Nice flat back one. here. Exercise one. Don't look at your toes. I'm gonna gaze out in front of you. Keep the natural extension in your cervical spine. Okay, that's your warm-up round. So, every round is going to be similar to that. So, next round, we're going to go for a tricep push-up, where we're going to keep our arms narrow. And you're going to keep those elbows tucked in. Now, really targeting the triceps here, 
So you can drop down to your knees if you need to modify. Then we're going to come up for a plyometric lunge. So plyometric, we're adding that hop or you can step back into a reverse lunge. Then we'll do a side plank, right side plank for both times around. We'll hit the left side plank later on. You're here with your feet stacked. You can stagger your feet, drop your bottom knee to modify just making sure your shoulders and your hips are stacked. Now, if you want to add a hip dip, you can, or you can even extend one leg and hold it right there. Um, then we'll come up for your cardio, which is going to be drop and drive, or drop and hop. We'll alternate sides on that one. All right. Tricep push up. Going in four. Three, two. One. Hands are right underneath Exercise your shoulders. One. Elbows stay tucked in nice and close. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna go for our next round. 
Your push-up is gonna be a downward dog, and then we're gonna drop down head first, really isolating your shoulders, then lowering the rest of the body. So, downward dog. Or just come to the downward dog, to the push-up position. Dropping those hips each time. Your plank is gonna be, no, you gotta get up for a little bit. A plie, squat with your knees and toes pointed out. Drop it here, or add a hop. Left side plank, bottom knee down, or not. Here, or here, or here. And then, we're gonna go for floor taps, in out squat where you're either going to step out right, tap the floor, keep your chest up there, or hop it out together, jump in the center, and tap the floor. Downward dog push-up. Isolating those shoulders here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Come up to a cobra. Chest up, Two, knees one. and toes pointed Exercise one. in the same direction. Land soft if you're hopping. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. 
All right, so we're halfway there. We got three rounds down, three to go. So next round, we're gonna start with a wide push up. Hands look nice and wide this time. Really targeting the pecs, anterior deltoids, still working those triceps as well. Nice and wide, drop to your knees if you need to. We'll come on up. Your lower body is going to be a curtsy lunge, or you can drop it down. Make that a low touching ice skater. And then, if that still, that angled movement bothers you, just take it down to a reverse lunge instead. Um, your plank is going to be a reverse plank. So, Nice flat body, gaze at the ceiling. If that's a little too much, you can bend your knees and hold the tabletop. If you still don't like that, it bothers your wrists or shoulders, just give me a sit up or crunch. And then your cardio is going to be a crab kick where you're either going to extend one leg at a time or you're going to add a little plyometric move here. Now, if that's still not okay, you want to give your wrists a break, then you're gonna go for flutters right here. All right, wide push up. Here we go. Two, one, exercise one. Low tap ice skater. You do what works best for you. Still keeping that chest up. Get low in those legs. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. We're gonna hold that reverse plank or that tabletop. So. Three, Knees bent to the tabletop. One. Exercise one. Or straight legs. Gaze at the ceiling. Hips up. Don't let them droop down. Keep them up. Hands are stacked in the back. Three, two, one. Rest. Getting ready for either the flutters or the crab kicks. One. Single legs or a little bit of a plyometric move here. You got it. Core is engaged. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good. Round two. Getting ready for a wide push up. Here we go. Exercise one. Bring it down, get ready. Last one here, crab kicks. 
or flutter kicks. Three, two, one. Hop or no hop. All right, we only have two rounds to go. Each round is four minutes, so eight minutes of work and two minutes or so of stretching and you're done. So your next round is going to be a, um, a windmill push-up where you're going to drop it down for that push-up and then open up to a side plank where your hips, shoulders are stacked. Drop it down, push-up, and then you're going to alternate switching sides. Now you can do this on your knees to modify if you need to. Then we're going to come up for your lower body focus. <clears throat> right leg forward, left leg back. You're going to drop and pull slow for three and then step switch or pulse for three and hop switch. On the pulses you're low. And if you're hopping, you're landing nice and soft. All right. Your plank is going to be a shoulder tap plank. So you're coming up into that tall plank position, that push-up position, with very little rotation in your hips. You're going to tap those shoulders. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Concentrate on keeping your hips parallel to the floor and rotating them as little as possible. You can also drop to those knees if you need to, or just hold that push-up position for 20 seconds. All right, your cardio is going to be a burpee. So you're going to jump up and just pop it back, or you're going to jump up, lower yourself to the ground, keeping your body nice and flat, thrusting those hips forward for that upward movement, and then adding that jump at the top. All right, here we go. Second to last round. Windmill push-up. Three, two, one. Exercise. Drop it down, opening it up to the right. Hips and shoulders stack. Drop it down, open up to the left. Remember, you can do this on your knees. To modify right here. Okay, bring it up, right leg forward, left leg back, three pulses, and a step switch or a hop switch. Here we go, low, chest up, hop switch or step switch. Nice soft landing, knees and toes stay in line. Okay, that's good. Get ready for your plank. Three, two, Shoulder taps. One. Here we go. One. How many can you do without breaking form? Hips low, little rotation. You drop to your knees. If you need to, you can hold here or here if you need to. Five. Three, two. Good. Burpees. Modified or regular. I'll start out modified. No jump. Step it back. Step it in. Or jump up and pop it out. Or a full burpee. Switch. 
Will you go? Exercise one. around your waist, bend your knees, hand down by your right shoulder, left hand, and really extend from the elbow, try not to fall down each time, kind of keep yourself elevated, really isolating your triceps here, then your lower body is going to be a side lunge, we're going to drop down, Center, left, center. Or you're going to step together. Add a little hop in the center. Just making sure your knees and toes are in line. Chest is up. Sitting those hips back. Your plank is going to be arms extended. So instead of stacked, they're extended out. And you're going to hold right here. Um, if that's not okay on your shoulder, I want you to bring those elbows in stacked underneath your shoulder instead of out ahead. Then we're going to come up on your hands for your cardio. We're going to do one plank jack, one donkey kick. So, out and up. Or out, out, and no up. This is your last round, about four minutes and we're done. All right, side line, right side down, right arm hugs, left arm's doing the work. That's your top hand, keep yourself up. Slight bend in your legs to keep yourself stabilized. wide so I can get deeper, really Two. concentrate and go one. nice and deep. Exercise one. Keeping those knees and toes in line. Not letting that knee extend past your toe. Really Three. sitting those hips back. One. Okay, Rest. good. So, your plank, arms are out, extended. If that doesn't feel okay, bring them in. Three, two, one. Hip slow.
Okay, guys. We got one more round. Left side line push up. Right, right arms through your work. Two, one. Keep yourself up. Exercise one. Okay, that's good. So, get ready for that lateral lunge. Keeping those knees and toes in line. Keeping your chest up, sitting those hips back. nice flat back. Feeling that stretch. Walk it out just a little bit. Pushing past your comfort zone, but not in pain. Just a little, little bit past your comfort zone with that stretch. Walk it out to the right. Keeping that leg straight. You can be at your knee. You can be in the, at your shin or at your toe or even further than your toe. Just whatever your flexibility allows. We all have different flexibility. Walk it back to the center and over to the left. Again, wherever your flexibility allows. Gonna open up and breathe. And you guys are finished. All right, group. Good working out with you guys. Miss you, and I will see you later. Bye.